to have a quick look at the Monk Makes Clever Card Kit. This is the first thing I bought from Monk Makes. Uh, and I have to say, I'm really impressed. This was on sale. It was about £15. Uh, it's an RFID kit for the Raspberry Pi. And you get lots of stuff inside it. You get a very nice instruction book, which is really nicely printed and is very clear, very easy to follow. Really impressed by the instructions. Uh, you get uh, six uh are blank rfid cards which we'll have a look at in a minute these are blank cards so these are uh, like credit cards with rfid chips inside um you get lots and lots of jumper wires you get a uh, really rather snazzy uh red push button i like that buttons have to be red um and you get an rfid fob as well and as well as that you get uh the real business end of the thing is the rfid uh card reader here this gadget here uh which plugs into your raspberry pi with all the colored jumper wires and you get a nice little plastic card to put on your raspberry pi so you know what all the pins are uh, you can download software from the uh, MonkMakes website and the Python programs that they provided are really very good. You can do quite a lot with them straight um, straight off without having to do any programming. Really, really impressed with this. The first program they provide is called Read. So I'll just run that program now. Very, very simple. And I'm in the wrong directory <laughs> straight away. How embarrassing. Right. So just excuse me while I change to the right directory. There we go. And we'll try that again. Uh, we'll try doing the Read program. There we go. So I'll run the read program it says hold the tag near the reader so if i pick uh, one of the fresh tags that i've not programmed yet out of the packet here and i hold it up to the card reader it should there we go a unique number comes on the screen so it's identified the card okay so i'll put another one up there just to show that, that works there we go get a different number comes up on the screen and that one again a third number so that's all well and good so it can identify cards um you can also write to the cards so what i'll do is i'll run the write program if i can scroll through on my crummy keyboard there we go uh so i'm going to write i'll put some text on one there so i'm going to say hello to jason isaacs is going to be my first bit of text and then it says scan a tag to write so now if i put this card on there that is now my jason isaacs card i'm going to get another card here i'm going to put some new text in i'm going to say tinkety tonk old fruit put that on there there we go and i'll scan Scan that card. There we go. So I've got two cards. This should be Jason Isaacs. This is Tinkety Tonk Cold Fruit. Uh, come out of that program. If I can go back to the read program, if I put one of these cards up to the screen, you should see now. Oh, there we go. I get Tinkety Tonk Cold Fruit comes up on the screen. If I put that one up there, it says hello to Jason Isaacs. So already lots of potential to write some text. And with ID numbers, we can get different things happening. We can identify objects. We can make different things happen with these two cards okay so that's very good uh what is really impressive though is how easy it is to make things actually happen on your raspberry pi using these cards and the software they provide is excellent so what you do is you go to a program called launcher setup i really like this launcher setup right and straight away it's now asking me for a command to be run well i'd quite like to make a radio out of this so what i'll do i've already got some radio stations programmed in that i use for my radio uh radios that i made earlier using mpc so what i do if i just write in my command mpc play one that should play a radio station and then i hold my tag up so i'm going to hold one of my tags up then i'll do mpc play two and I'm going to hold another tag up okay and then let's get a third one and a fourth one and I'm going to do MPC play three hold that tag up and then I'm going to do MPC play four and I hold that tag up there we go and then I control C to get out of that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other Python program they provide which is the launcher so I run the launcher program and now let's see what happens when I put one of these cards up to the uh, RFID card reader. As a businessman, that in there we go. So that card is now playing business World business Service Newsstream radio. So what I could do, I could decorate that card. I'll just turn it up a bit so you can hear. Oh. My remote control has run out of battery. So there we go. There we go. That's playing World Service radio. So I could decorate that card or just write World Service on it. Let's get another card. Let's see what happens. 
That's playing Radio 4. Let's see what this third card does. Oh, marvellous. That's playing FIP, French radio station FIP, my favourite radio station. And the last card. He's playing six music. I could also program another card to stop the radio as well. Um, really, really impressed with this kit. Fifteen pounds. There's a lot of potential here for making games, um, for making uh, radio, all sorts of things. Really, really can't wait to get to grips with this and to bounce some ideas off people. Um, there's a nice project included with the game as well to use these cards as credit cards for playing a Monopoly game. So you, the Raspberry Pi in effect becomes the bank and uh, you take and subtract money, add and subtract money on your credit cards and keep track of it using uh, using a Python program on the Raspberry Pi, which is a lovely idea. But I'd be really interested to see if some people could come up with some ideas, especially children, young people could come up with ideas for games you could play uh, with these cards to decorate them, make them part of another game, perhaps make them part of a board game, trigger events on the Raspberry Pi. You could play sound files, you could load web pages, you could load information on the screen that you could only access uh, by actually accessing accessing uh, the correct card or perhaps uh, using some of the sort of fob type devices uh, and building these building the fob perhaps into counters or players on the game and then you put them up to the RFID card reader on here and that would trigger something to happen in the game so all in all really really impressed a very nice little kit for uh, about 15 pounds you have an awful lot of fun with that and uh, thoroughly recommend it